Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, and folks, we are kicking into the last, this is the last weekend of 2014, so hope everyone has an awesome 2015. Yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not here, what are you doing right now, folks? Let's take a look at this quote is by Vincent Barnett. Almost everything is more complicated than it seems, but almost nothing is hopeless. Life's pretty easy, actually. You just gotta look it in the face. Mugget wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 57, Nasdaq up 41, S&P's up nine and a half, gold contract up $19.80, trading at 1,193 an ounce. Silver up 38 cents at $16.09 pennies an ounce. Platinum up 26 bucks at 1,215 an ounce. Copper down four pennies at 283 a pound. Light sweet crude down a buck at $54.85. That oil market, we're gonna bisect it and dissect it. Looks to me like that thing is gonna get down to Fifty dollars, and I'm, I'm talking about in the next three or four days. And it's hammering that low out there, folks, and it wants lower price. Bonds. We have the ten-year flat at 126. Thirty-year down six up six ticks rather at 143.11. Bond market uh, came down hard on Tuesday and Wednesday. Light volume. Uh, I suspect you're going to start building some more cars to get to higher price. King dollar. King dollar up 87 ticks at 90.31. And the divergence inside King dollar is this. King dollar is reaching up for its 2005 highs. That's 92.52 on a continuous contract. Uh, that being said, however, is that that is not stopping the metals market. So uh, my take is that that King dollar is going to be pulling back. That's going to be the um, end of the move for a certain amount of time. Uh, what is that time frame? Is it three, four, five months? We, we'll see. The King Doll has been on a tear for seven months. Uh, at 92.50, folks, that would be a 100% move of a move. Huge move. Uh, I suspect we're going to basically pull back slightly, go sideways, do something other than continue higher with King Doll. Uh, because we did have the metals market. They had every reason to whack the metals market down. They couldn't handle it. Euro. Euro is down 48 ticks at 121.77, and the yen is up 28, trading at 120.38. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. They get some price spread going out here today, folks. You're up 10 bucks. You're at 2092. Uh, of course, we get holiday trade, and there's going to be no volume whatsoever on the NYSE. Uh, you're going to do all of about uh, 400 million, <laughs> which it, for a full day, that's insane. We'll probably do about the same amount of volume we did today, folks, which we did on Wednesday, uh, which was the market was only open from uh, for one, uh, 9.30 to 1 o'clock. That was 349 million. Maybe we'll come at 400, 400 million. Um, the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the Dow. Same setup in the Dow. Uh, Dow right now is up uh, 55 bucks here at 18,085. Uh, I'm going to go back to the uh, S&P for a second because one of the targets in the den were, you know, saying, hey, let's get it over with, hit the 2100. And I suspect what you do have out here is that you're at 2092.8, uh, .28. That, that thing, will, will, it'll probably whack that 2100. Uh, that being said and done, however, what you, what you are going to see, I suspect, next Monday and Tuesday, you're going to see some volatility in this marketplace, and that's on the way down. If we go over to the NASDAQ composite, we look at the composite next. Composite is up good today, up 39 bucks. The high in the composite is 48.10. We're over the high. That thing will spike. You know, no thought, and maybe it's a spike on Monday morning before it gives it up. And where I'm going with that, folks, is the IBB. Um, this... I share NASDAQ Biotech Index. Uh, right now, it's up $6.53. You're trading at 306. That's after coming down hard to 292 with monster volume. What we've done is this. So the IBB, the Biotech Index, made a high out here. This is the IBB on, uh, on the 19th. It got to $319. You made that high with 2 million shares. You come off that high with 3.6 million. So we went from a price point of 319 down to 292 in two days. You back up, 
on dramatically lighter volume. So you, you have a, a counter trend bounce that's happening, and I do expect that we can get up Monday morning somewhere about 310. This biotech index, though, is, is clearly set up that it wants to get down into this 247 area. So that is one monster number on the way down. Now, let's go over to the small caps. The Russell 2000 has been trying to hit this high, and the high that we're talking about is the July 1st high. The July 1st high in the Russell 2000 is 1213.55. We hit it. We hit it today. Now, if we go take a look at the IWM, this, this, and I expect we're going to stay over that level right now. If we can look at the IWM, the iShares, the high in the iShares is 120.97. We've hit 120.81 thus far. Monday, it'll spike this baby. The characteristic of the volume there is right now we're doing 14 million shares versus 65 million. Bottom line, you know, we'll see whether it fails on price. I expect we will. Gold contract. We, over, we take a look at gold. So here's where divergence is out here in a big way. The, the king dollar, folks, is going to highs. Gold rejects lower price, does it last week, has light of oil, and does everything that it should be doing. Um, and this morning out here, so we have gold up 20 bucks. And she's inside a larger range. You know, uh, once she came back inside this uh, 1186 again, we're at 1193. She's going to go for the swing point up here of uh, 1239. I expect what you're going to get out of this run up uh, kind of pronto is 1256. Now, the 1256, that's when we, we had broken topside on, on October. The low of October was 1184. We went up to the 1256. What gold actually wants to go up to, though, is the July swing high right now of 1347. And what we do have, you have the some of the gold equities actually leading the contract on the way up. Silver. We're going to take a look at silver. Now, silver is twice as volatile as gold. Uh, silver today is up 37 cents. You do, uh, you're doing 15,000 contracts. Both gold and silver are going to need more contracts, more volume coming into the market next week. Bonds. The, the bond market, they smoked on Tuesday and Wednesday, came down hard. But guess what? When that was coming down hard, you had the fast price destruction without volume. When you have fast price destruction without volume on the way down, guess what? You want to go higher. Um, so we, on Tuesday, we came down with 500,000 contracts. That was going into 1.1 million. Uh, Wednesday, you came down with 341,000 contracts, and that was going into 1.6 million. Today, you're just going sideways. You haven't done anything. That cause building, however, is my, I expect to get up to the highs of October 15th, which is 129.28. That generates into higher bond prices, lower yields. Right now, the 10 years yielding at 2.2. That still puts the 30-year Mortgage rate, just about 4%. Um, you know, every time that, it, that the 10-year uh, gets up to about 127, 128, folks, that's when your 30-year mortgage rate is about 3.8 to 3.9. Uh, if you're thinking of refinances, HELOCs, all of the above, uh, bottom line, this is not a bad time to do it. Oil. Now, you talk about tax break in, in oil. We got it in spades, folks, and it's all over the place. This oil contract right now, we, uh, let me make sure I get the right contract, because oil trades every month, folks. So oil today, we're down 1.9%, and we still, yeah, we're still on the G contract. Okay, so what we have is this. Oil's trading 54.77. We've done 110,000 contracts out here today. You're hammering the bottom, and the 54.28... So th what this is going to do, folks, on Monday morning, this is going to open right at the lows. I expect what you're going to see here Monday. I think Monday is going to be a tough day because two different things end up happening here. We're in holiday, holiday trading, but because of the way that New Year's is set up, it's the, it's the whole time of the year right now. I, there's enough time off. I suspect Monday and Tuesday there's going to be some real action. If this looks like an ABC structure on the way down. That's going to be $50 oil. Uh, you stay right there. We'll come back. We'll talk about the oil and gas and service stocks. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN.
Dow's up 59, Nasdaq's up 39, S&P's up 9.5. We're going to be right back.